god. Hello everybody and welcome to Shenanigans. We have a good show for you today. I'm Koibu or Neil as you can call me. I'll be your DM. We got two players today, so let's check in with them, starting with uh Ricky. Who are you and who are you playing today? Uh my name's Ricky. I'm playing Ty. He's a Tiberius rather. He's a noble in the area of Berkshire. Um kind of exploring areas outside of his estate finally trying to mingle it up with common folk and people around the area Just think of like a philanthropist type guy um sort of we'll see what happens hmm, excellent and james who are you and who are you playing today i'm playing a uh, wyatt uh the uh half elf cleric of backwards who's uh fled eridon to come to uh, berkshire but to learn how to do chaos properly because mm. cha shenanigans is the most holy site for now Chris worship is because of the chaotic energies and St. Desmond's here too. Mm. But like we, we dare not interfere with Desmond nor we will suffer the wrath of the massive amounts of lightning. But we understand that he is blessed by Malchus some way because he always rises above the chaos. Mm. Mm -hmm. right. And I think we need a character for Ricky. You are mm -hmm. a nobleman. You have a leather armor. Mm hmm. Do you wear fancy clothes? Um, uh, I mean, it's probably like it's leather armor, but there's probably something fancy over overneath, right? Like a cloak or you know something. What about this fancy-looking guy? I don't know what your sort of weapon is. You do, he's a dagger guy. Short, sword, short oh. sword daggers. Oops. There we go. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. I can't see his health bar now. I'm adding the health <laughs> bar. Oh my god. I know, I know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, does, does, does uh, Arcadia have a fight with Nils? Neil, does uh, Arcadia have uh, preferential treatment in divorce laws? <laughs> Neil. Does, well, actually. This is, this, we're going to figure some of that stuff out today. Those are some great yeah. questions that are uh, surprisingly spot on. So if the bar is about 20% <laughs> full, that means there's about 20 people. Uh, fi the day. fire marshal says only about 100 people allowed in the, the tavern at a time. It's a is your cold... fire marshal land live again? <laughs> I'm not saying the current fire marshal has come and said this. I mean, generally speaking, the rule has come down from a fire marshal once upon a time that the maximum occupancy of shenanigans is 100 people. The existence or um, preferences of a current fire marshal will have to be discovered in session. Yeah, I'm glad um, I'm inside where it's not snowing. <laughs> right. Is it well, snowing it is, or is it just cold? It's just cold. It's a cold, mm. blustery, windy day. There's a roaring fire in the hearth. The windows are all shut. The doors are cracked just a little bit with the door stopper so people know that they can come in, but like you don't let all the hot air out. Uh, Desmond is behind the counter doing his usual business. Lizzie is uh, sitting at the bar carving out a new sign for the front because someone has stolen the last sign and, you know, they got to make a new one. Hey, uh, Borsh is in the kitchen working with Layla, who has taken up an interest in cooking. And um, the chatter around the bar is... Is Layla really interested in cooking or is this some weird thing where she's going to poison us all? Because Desmond's mm. daughter <clears throat> is an unruly young lady. And, uh, you know, I don't want to say you can't trust teenage girls, but you can't trust teenage girls. <laughs> and um, this is one of them. Especially she's dabbling in magic. She's messing with your food. You, you might not want to eat it today. Dabbles in magic. Yeah, she's a, a young wizard, young sorceress wiz wizard at the yep. nearby academy. Ha, hmm. Woghorts School of something, 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 something. Um, yeah, and our two players are hanging around. Where are you? Get, where do you guys want to be? Right here in the middle of the room? Oh, I want to be in the middle of the chaos. Mm. See it unfold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably, trying to learn. Yeah, and I'm probably on the outside, like looking in as as an observer, like kind of like all like all like oh man the. Some of them don't even wear shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, what is a uh, what is a uh, your character look like? Uh, my, uh, my my guy um, 
Well, nowadays, he is a refugee from Eridon, but um, he, nowadays he's wearing um, leather limbs and a chainmail um, chest, um, and uh, he has a sword and shield. Um, he's, around his neck is prominently displayed the Cleric of Malchus insignia. Uh, and uh, he's, yeah. he's well kept now, but like if you had seen him a few months ago, he would have been a lot worse off. So I, I think my, my Tiberius is going to walk up to you and approach you. All inspired is like, you, my friend, you look like an adventurer. Mm hmm. Yep. Tell me. Join me. Share your stories. All right. Um, I'm from Eridon. Then everyone died. Then <laughs> then demons came and everyone died. <laughs> then uh, I fled here. Because you see, for some reason, these Eridonians didn't like my religion. And they went, no, we'll just kill everyone in your religion. Even though you're a proper religious organization, we'll just kill all of you in your secret lair in the dun in the swamp. I'm like, Ugh. I'll run away. Motion. Tile motion to your amulet around your neck, Malchus. Yeah, of course. Well, this is two, a... the, there are altars to Malchus in every single temple in this country. I don't see what the hang up is. Just because we do some stuff, it's about. <laughs> look, if you just left it with a stare, nothing would ever change. True. I agree. I love it. This is a perfect place for you. Yeah. Like, this is. Shinani is the most holy site in all of Arcadia. Holy. Oh, it is. It is where chaos, this epicenter of chaos, is right here. Hmm. Let's introduce a little chaos. And I'm going to motion to Desmond to bring us some of his daughter's food. Yeah. They will bring some food over to you. It is a bowl of porridge with uh, cinnamon and honey and one other smell you can't quite place. I'm gonna hold it up and start smelling it and be like, well, you see, Desmond's daughter just took up cooking and the rumor uh -huh. has it, she's quite the alchemist. Uh -huh. Are you brave enough? No, I'll eat her. But that's not chaotic at all. It isn't. Uh, let, to cause chaos, you need to find, let's just say, the lever point. Something to change and let the whole system fall apart. You find the weak point and you hit it. Then you let the pieces fall wherever they fall and let the strong rise to the top. But, you know, eat porridge if you want. <laughs> what does this taste like, Neil? <laughs> The porridge? Yes. Why don't you make me a grub okay. skill check? Ooh. Before a grub skill check, you're going to need a grub skill. Uh, so roll me 3d6 for your grub skill. And uh, then roll me 3d6 plus, or d20 plus your grub skill for how well you can taste the flavors to decide where the things are. Oh, eight. All right. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, you will need to record this. It is the most important stat you have on your character. No one cares about hit points or AC. It's all about that grub <laughs> skill. Uh, so record it somewhere and roll me a d20 plus eight, and we'll see if you well, can identify. Eight characters didn't have a grub score, Neil. Well, then they weren't real characters. They didn't matter. <laughs> they didn't have a grub skill. Uh, that counted 21. last ages. <laughs> Unimportant in the world if he had no grub skill. You know, like a ghost walking around doing things existing but generally you know only a shadow of what he could have been mm -hmm. uh yes so you can place the mysterious flavor it's cloves mm. wonderful mm. delicious That's pleasant non-toxic pleasant i think you're right this isn't exactly chaos and it's not just and chaos isn't just about being random that's just being a jerk like going, ah, I pranked you, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, show me an example of this. All right. Let's just say this place wasn't protected by Malchus, the Lord above. Um, you could cause so much chaos by levering the weak point of this bar, which is the relationship between Desmond and Lizzie. But the thing is, they're protected, and there's no way in heck I could actually do anything against them. But if you cause discord and strife between those two, shenanigans would cease to exist. 
permanently. I'm gonna ponder this. But they're protected, man. Don't try it. Hmm. Let's see them protected from this. And I'm gonna take the porridge that I took one bite of. I take ten feet of I'm, I'm, I'm taking I'm a little distance away from Neil. I'm gonna get lightning today. I'm gonna storm up to the front where Desmond is and slam the porridge down and say, This is the most disgusting thing I have ever put into my mouth. And I've put a lot of things into my mouth as a nobleman in this city. What else have you put in your mouth? That is beside the point. The point is, is I want your daughter out of this establishment. You, you back there, stop stirring that pot. Get out, go, before I call the guard. Desmond, don't say a word. You know my father. The bar gets really quiet. The other patrons stop what they're doing, overhearing this and look towards you. Lizzie puts down her wood block, doesn't put down the knife, uh, <laughs> takes a glance over at you. From the kitchen, you can see Borscht like lean out, <laughs> a worried look across his brow. <laughs> Desmond <clears throat> puts down the drink that he was pouring and uh, comes over to your section of the bar and leans across and says, <clears throat> would you like to say that again? Desmond, I thought we had an understanding. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what understanding is that? I might not have understood it. I was in a kind of like be taken back. He's in a look back. And be like, you're right, he is protected by the god. They killed an elven ambassador for less. Was there look, something you wanted to say about my daughter? I'm gonna take the porridge that's like half porn out. I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna do it. It's the clove. Great. And I'll uh, turn around <laughs> and go back. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he'll go back to his section of the bar and everyone will slowly turn around and return to their, what they were doing. Borsch will lean back in. Lizzie will pick up her wood block again. And, God, uh, you're right. Even me as a noble, I have no power here. You know he killed a black dragon. That, well, those, those three killed a black dragon together in the swamp to the south, right? Here, this is flies. There's no way. Uh, Desmond, did you have a copy of your book around? Then I could just show him your book. I have a book? <laughs> yeah, I wrote yeah, a book? The... No, no, someone ghost wrote it for you, remember? No, the not at all. Adventures of Desmond the Dashing. Sounds great. Where can I get a copy? Oh, the library, I guess, if you don't have one. Fantastic. Well, Look basically, it, it goes around and it describes your adventures and such. Anyway, back to the party. Yeah, it... it there's books about him, canon books, because um, it was referenced in a few in um, the campaign Frozen Frontier, so the book exists. Um, of uh, actually, the magical adventures of Desmond the Dashing, mm -hmm. but it's, it talks about him uh, and Lizzie and Borsch uh, going on adventures and uh, defeating the Black Dragon of the Swamp to the south. Hmm. These are stories. And as a reward, the crown awarded Desmond the land for shenanigans. Hmm. Wait, you don't know that Desmond's a high-level fighter? I know of a Desmond long ago that existed. That was this high-level fighter. This is merely a barkeep. In a oh, really? Really? I mean... I thought so until I looked into his eyes. He had such commanding presence. I'm telling you, this is the Desmond, Saint Desmond of the uh, Malchus faith. He may be immortal or maybe it's just inherited titles, but he is above it all. No matter what happens, he rises above it. Why does he choose to run a bar? He's retired to this life. He's having fun. He's running a bar. He gets to hang out with people all day. His stories. I'm going to look over to Desmond. What is he doing right now? Uh, 
uh, he's finished pouring someone a drink, so now he's got a mug in one hand and a sword of clean cloth in another hand. He's polishing the mug. Does he look happy? He looks a little bored. This great warrior who's defeated black dragons is now... One. <laughs> one, okay. That, that's more believable. Has defeated one black dragon is now running a bar in Berkshire, of all places. Yep. Well, look at okay, him. Look, let's go to the library and look at the book. The things they describe him in the book. Well, look, okay. Let's let's say this. Let's say, look at him. Look at him right now. Look at that bored expression on his face. I've seen that expression on so many people in my life. That's mm -hmm. the guy in need of an adventure. Well, he's retired. He promised his wife. So good luck. Maybe we can convince the wife. Well, yeah, you, that, that's the lever point. The lever point. Hmm. Where is his wife? Well, she's right over there. She's at the with end the of the bar point. carving a sign with her knife. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that Simon's protected by the plot armor. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Plot armor? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> 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 well there's a lever agent of chaos well i i i have no desires in this matter if you want to convince lizzie that they need to go on an adventure i'm more game to watch you if you got an idea is lizzie also an adventurer oh she's in the book yeah she's a range, high level ranger i look over to lizzie does she look bored She's pretty involved in the task at hand, you know? She's working on some carvings. It's a fun project to be working on. She doesn't seem too bored. I mean, if you convince Lizzie of something, uh, she'll allow Desmond to do it. I just yell that they're family, though. I don't know if they're going to listen to me. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to see if they were going to kill you the next time you talk to them, but yeah, okay. I mean, it's a possibility now. I mean, I'm no black dragon. Hmm. There was this uh, elven ambassador who was in town and he held a bachelor party and the orc just killed him. Mind <laughs> you, there were um, issues with the wife being kidnapped, both pretended kidnapped. But, yeah. These guys are above the law. I was always taught that no one was above the law. Well... You tell a guy who can kill a black dragon that he has to obey a law, and you're going to find that law's not going to be obeyed. Yeah, I get that. The might makes right <laughs> here. I mean, the queen could come in with all her army and maybe to take a dent into Desmond, but will it be worth it? No, I don't think so. Just let him be, to be honest. If he just wants to run a bar, let him run a bar. The wheels start spinning in Ty's head, and he's like looking kind of away. He's like, what great monstrosity or danger is there nearby that hasn't been dealt with, that needs dealing with? Uh, the rock's been dealt with. The green dragons have been dealt with. What is left in the area, Neil? The big stuff. The big stuff? I mean, the there's stuff. always big stuff lying around. Yeah. Okay, Let's take a cause... look at the world map. Yeah, well, we're talking about the local area, right? So I know mm -hmm. in the swamp uh, to the south, the bronze... Oh, wait, there's the new frost dragon that's in the swamp, unless that didn't happen. Yeah, um, so there is at least a one, maybe two dragons here, probably one in the swamp. Rumors are that there's a, another dragon that lives in the West Grove. Um, mm -hmm. There's this swamp over here that has mm. sort of been unexplored, and there's a couple of uh, theorized yeah, I, young black dragons hanging I, out I near Narrowed Lake. I thought they were off, like, in between shenanigans and uh, well, there was new dragons there. Well, you know, that wouldn't be surprising if someone thought they were all dead, but... All right, um, all right, all right. Fair enough. Those rumors may not be true, you know? Maybe well, they the have Royal all been killed, maybe did not. go around making it a big deal of it. <laughs> Yeah, but like when you slay one hatchling dragon and you walk around being like, I killed the dragon! And everyone's like, yay! And, <laughs> you know, the remaining dragons that you didn't kill are just like, excuse me, hello, I'm not going to go correct you, but like, excuse me. And the there rock are. took out the other two. 
There, you know, well, there are many, many of these creatures. Dragons don't just lay clutches of three eggs at a time, you know. Mm. Mm. Um, let's see. Uh, you did say three in another show, but okay, let's. Just well, going. but like, where did that information come from, right? Just because someone oh, thinks there's three black accurate. dragons doesn't mean that there's always going to be, you know. The, yeah, it's like true. the inaccuracy yeah. of the winter gods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's like how you might say there's like, what, 10 COVID cases in the US, but that's because you didn't test anyone. And actually there's like, a you know, 10,000 COVID cases and because you're slowing down the testing, you know, it's like that. Uh, oh, <laughs> Sorry. Right. I try so hard not to bring politics and COVID Rich. into D&D, but it slips in. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, all right, so it's a um, laser cat are, still in the area. There's Zo Zorns over here. There's a laser cat somewhere around. You know, there's there are things abounding. And it's so, while uh, you're discussing these, like, great beasts that you could go slay or get Desmond and Lizzie to go slay that there mm -hmm. is uh, a, a little, like, tugging at your elbow sleeves um, on both of you. And you can look down, look down. and there's a, there's a halfling woman. Oh. Coming up to maybe, I don't know, the arm of your chair, you know, top of her head right there. You didn't even notice her come in, and she's looking up at the two of you and goes, oh, Hi, um, excuse me? I'll Are say you hello. I'll greet hello and halfling to her. Oh, why, hello. That's so kind. You speak my language. Um, ahem. So, uh, hello. You guys are the uh, the the adventurers that that uh, that we hired uh, to, to fix our, our life problems and, and save our world? Theoretically. Possibly. Um, it depends if you, the price is right. Oh, I have money. Yeah, we got lots mm -hmm. of money. But, uh... Mm -hmm. It also depends on the problem, you see, because if you have, like, a cat stuck in a tree, we can handle that. But if you have a dragon, you might want to talk to him. Oh, well, this point is to between Desmond. the two. This is, this is halfway <laughs> between the two. Ooh, see, halfway. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Uh... My husband's Another kind of, um, you know, <laughs> cheating on me all the time with a whole bunch of other women, and uh, I don't have any proof of it, and uh, the courts won't allow me to divorce him without some sort of proof of problem, and I think it's really fucked up and backwards, but, like, I need some other witnesses to talk to a judge, and um, so can I'm gonna you... grab her by the shoulders and say, you will no longer be in this toxic relationship. You are worth it. Do you understand me? Where is your husband? <laughs> That's exactly how I feel. That's exactly yes. how I feel. <laughs> but I need evidence. I need proof because we live in a backward society where you have to have proof of infidelity to, to get a divorce. Just Will That's is not alone ridiculous. enough. ridiculous. You think I he know. would need proof if he wanted to divorce you? They would just let him do it as a man. I hate this world. It's terrible. <laughs> well, he is not so he's, his testimony would I carry weight. So if he witnesses an act of infidelity, mm, true, true, his testimony will out. really carry weight. Well, uh, yeah. this is Tiberius. Lord Tiberius, would you help me? Of course, yes, but we need to devise a plan. Um, and first off, we need, off, we, need we need information. We need information. We need to know where yes. you live. We need to know. The suspects, the women you think that he might be with. We need. Do you? I have. I pull a book out that and I have like a Cleo. piece of chalk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Cleo. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your name, ma'am? Literally, uh, my name Rose. Yeah, Rose. Rose. That is yeah. A beautiful name, and I could never ever cheat on a rose with a Cleo. What the? How, how Jesus could you? <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Uh, your uh. Soon to be ex-husband's name? Uh, well, his name's soon to be Mud to me, but but presently, uh, his name is Spud. Do you live in town? We live in one of the suburbs, just um, you know, to the west of town. We we live on um on uh what, what the the Dirtway Road. The Dirtway Road. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. I know the place. Yeah. Yeah. We got the um the. <laughs> The the picket fence that is um, alternating white and gray. That's how you can tell our, our home apart from the others. That's very specific. Thank you for these details. Very mm -hmm. vital. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What have you observed of infidelity? Did you see it directly? No, no, not directly. But he's always, you know, 
out much later than he should be, coming home with weird smells on him, you know, and I see him uh, when we go to when we go to church on Sundays, and you know, I see him casting looks around and chatting up Cleo after we're, we're heading out of the pews. They always have a chance to bump into each other and, you know, What's chat Cleo's for a little job? bit. Well, we're, we're both farmers. Oh, okay. Oh, so you Cleo and Spider farmers? Yeah, yeah, we're all, well, the whole suburb is just farmers. You know, oh. we're halflings, it's what we do. do well, you, I wasn't going to generalize. But yeah. Do you well, work in the spud farm with your husband as well as Cleo, or does she work on a, a neighboring farm? My husband and I, we have our own farm, um, and then she's mm-hmm. got her own down mm-hmm. the way a little bit, you know, just around the bed. And what far she enough grow? around the bed that if he's visiting, you can't actually see him go there. You mm-hmm. just see him take the left down mm-hmm. the road, and you know Cleo lives down there. And it's not proof enough. I know, yeah, it's not, not proof enough. Well, it drives mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah, yeah so, um, <laughs> so Cleo's residence, and I get a description of where Cleo's residence is, so I know where to find it later. What does she on, grow? On what, is, what does Cleo grow on her farm? <sighs> she grows turnips. Like the common Ugh. bitch that she is. Ugh, turnips. Disgusting. I'll never eat a turnip again. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate your support. You know, I tried to talk to my sister about this, and she said, well, you know, maybe you're not doing enough to keep your husband's attention. And I wow. said, what the fuck, sister? Whoa. You know? Wow. I know. I, I mean, that's another conversation. That's another what? conversation that, that can happen at some point. That, But it's beside the point. It's already past that. That conversation doesn't need to happen. He shouldn't have dead what he did. We're going to find out exactly where he is. I'm going to catch that bitch Cleo as soon Thank as you. I fucking can. Well, and then well, we'll be Cleo back. Cleo is the one, but yeah. That's true. Wait, well, okay. Well, hold, we'll, I got to pump the brakes. I get a little passionate when it comes to this. Yeah, kind of we've got to make sure it's the right person, right? We don't yeah. want to hurt uh, a person innocently. But if she isn't innocent, then she's not innocent. One time I heard a story of a wife that was cheating on her husband with a minotaur. Oh, oh my God. That wow. was scandalous. Oh, my. Was he a large minotaur? minotaur? Yeah. How, how tall is the woman here? Because minotaurs are pretty big. <laughs> Love is love. Oh, All right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I couldn't exist with the, the other nobles. Yeah, yeah, they like, all they're all misogynists and judgmental, and I just, I just, I finally see that everybody deserves everything in life. So you're not trying to reform the system from the inside. You're just going to go for the outside and complain, okay? Because you mm. had a privileged position where you could actually affect change in the world because you're a noble. You see, when it's only one noble against the thousands and thousands of nobles Even that points. are entrenched into the systematic oppression of Chaos the underlings, I can only do so much. You're just not ambitious enough. Who is above you? Well, who inherits your family's titles? Are you the heir to your that. family's titles? No, I'm the middle child. Well, then you become the the next child. Then, next point, your family who's in, who's in, who's above you. And uh, how excuse you me, I'm sorry. I have an actual problem that needs to be solved today. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know you. You know, it's great to try and reform the whole system and everything, but like, you know, my husband is a yeah. douchebag, and I really want out of this relationship. But since the farm was my family's farm, and he married into it, and like, really, I don't know why he's getting all of these rewards when he's just, you know, a philandering son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. We will track this man down, but we need. What do, is it? Is it early right now? Is it? What time uh, is it? It's like middle of the day ish. Oh, and they live close. It's a suburb of Berkshire, so we'll probably yeah, get there. Yeah, it's probably a, a half hour walk. Yes, we yeah. should you get might, there. We should leave might. now because mm-hmm. by the time we get there, it'll be dark, and then we can do some sneaking. Well, you can do sneaking. I've got chainmail. <laughs> you can take your chainmail off, though. No, oh I'm not my taking God. my chainmail off. <laughs> But, but if you no. take your chainmail off, how about I just back you up? That's a trauma response of... to not taking off the chainmail here, you know. <laughs> well, it's, I, Neil, I've gone through almost the whole alphabet here, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are your characters in alphabetical order? Not alphabetical order, but I've done them in. Oh. Uh, I've uh, one yeah, almost time. twenty-six. Yeah, well, I'm at W. Wyatt. Oh yeah. Wyatt. I've got Z- X was Zizzalor. Who's that um, cleric of Illumis who are, I mean, he's still alive, I just haven't played him more. Well, <laughs> Q for Quart, 
J for Juck Lawbringer. F for... Wow. Yeah, yeah, you can look at my wiki page if you want them. We'll look at the wiki page, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so, um, how much do I owe you? Hmm. Oh, what do you mean? You don't owe us anything. Well, but you're going to help me, and you should be paid for your labor. I That doesn't make any sense to me. Listen to me. Look at what I'm wearing. I have nice unscuffed leather armor covered by a beautiful beautiful cloak and look at this man chain mail leather I need limbs cha- i need chain limbs thank you but... okay the, we do we look like anybody in need of money yes look at you. yes i need to make money to buy better armor god damn it wyatt okay we'll take a little <laughs> bit of money because wyatt needs armor but i'll for I'll, 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 pro bono on my side all right you're, you're so wonderful. If I could leave my land and the, my estate and, and work for your family, I'd absolutely do it. Well, we'll talk about that when we get back. Possibly. We'll see. They don't really like me up in the estate because I'm down here doing all this kind of stuff. Anyways, this is, we're going to, we're going to go, we're going to take care of this. I'm just saying, <laughs> Thank you. if Thank you were you the so heir, much. your word could be law for your family. Just saying. <laughs> Are you proposing murder? Yes. Murder is not above. Murder is not below any of this, Right? Okay. I mean, people you get murdered every day. You realize what Shenanigans does, right? Yeah. I, they solve problems, is what I hear. I yeah, didn't know they, they murdered people every day. Problems. Murder on the table, always. Oh, I thought it was like, you know. I mean, we can tar and feather or... him. Well, well, yeah, yeah, we don't have to. Be you can tar and feather him. We can tar and feather him, oh, but then oh, after oh. that, there's no guarantee that he's not going to be killed because I'm just going to be mad. Well, you know, you're proof too. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I, I'm oh, not no, we, really... okay, but we're not going to kill him because you know what? It's going to be more satisfying watching him picking tar and feather out of his hair in that courtroom, getting mm-hmm. divorced by mm-hmm. him. That is the that's the goal. All right. And, yeah. and I just want to leave him. You know, we have we have some children together, and I wouldn't want them uh, to become fatherless. Oh, there's I mean, children. Like... There's children. Oh, I didn't know there's children. Oh my goodness, this guy's a jerk. A little <laughs> half of children. I mean, they're adult children now, but like, you know, I wouldn't want them to go without their father. They're still little. To... We gotta go. <laughs> we have... Yeah. Okay. We gotta go investigate. <laughs> but what do you need me to do now? Do I just wait here for you, or, or do I go about my end, business and you come get you? Me? As if nothing has changed, so he has no ah. suspicions. Mm. So still be, uh, if you've been, act the same way towards him as you have been recently. Don't so let if you've on, been cold to him, different. stay cold. If you're angry with him, stay angry. Mm-hmm. Don't change anything at the moment. We don't want him to think he's being watched. Okay. All right. I told him I was coming into town to just do some shopping. Um, so I guess I'll go finish my shopping and then mm-hmm. head back. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank then you we'll... so much. It's really nice having some we'll... some emotional support on this. You know, there's a lot of labor and weight to carry when you're in a situation like this. And, and the rest of my family is just, you know, they want things to just continue. You know, we, they just want pleasantries. They don't want to have to deal with messy concepts and, and hard feelings and, and, you know, the complications of reality. It's just too much for them. They just want to be happy little halflings. And, and, and reality's not that happy. Hmm. Man, there's bigger problems in this world than just. We need to f- focus on this one, and then we're gonna look at bigger picture when we come back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go finish my shopping now. Yeah. And uh, she trots off with a, an extra kick in her step, excited that maybe something's going to be done about her her very personal problem. <laughs> okay, how about do you want just tar and feather him and just assume he's guilty? No, we have to day. find out. We have to find out who, where, when. What these are important. All documents. right, well, I guess we're staking him out. You know, you know, it's involved in stake out though. You know, watch a place for watch a guy for ages and not get caught watching him. All right, that's fine. I'll what, buy what some trail snacks, do? Neil. <laughs> What else are we gonna do? It'll be fine. I know. We're I, reforming the system and get you some power to make some changes. I don't know if that's a doable. Maybe a couple no, of years ago, you, I was so entrenched, you, but. Do you understand that your position, you could rise above other people by simply killing them? The I mean, thing is, look at, listen, Wyatt. I am who I am 
because I want to do good. But in order to do good from within the system, I have to be bad. And it doesn't feel good being bad to do good. It's only a few murders. <laughs> I'm not above murdering anyone. That's well, not then, my Well, okay, give me a list of the people <laughs> it would take you to become an earl. Earl. Oh. What people, because you're a noble, mm. who would have to die for you to become an earl? I guess my older brother, mm -hmm. my dad, yeah, my uncles. Mm -hmm. my... Wait, your uncles are higher ranking than you? Aren't they? I... Yes. Oh. No. I don't know. I don't pay attention. All I know is that my older brother is the hoity-toity, next in line, ma, and I'm the one that just got left to be in school all day. And yeah, that was just... All right, so no if go. you become a noble, that means you would... I mean, you are a noble. I mean, if you become the lord of, let's say, a landowner, mm -hmm. lord, you decide the rate rates, you decide these things. That's massive amount of power and influence and change. Then beyond that, lord of the town and the baroness. How f are you in line for the barony at all? That's... This is beside the point, though, because I don't make those decisions. I have you someone make those me decisions. telling me that they need what they need, and I have to... This is all very complicated and Yeah, boring. it is complicated, and I just it's not by a super point. I just want to help people. Or poison point. <laughs> but you, you can decide this. You have the capacity to change the world. I am going to change uh, you, the world. You walk I'm going to change the world for Rose. And that's the world that I care about. You're a noble. You could do bigger picture stuff here. You could stop the problem, these divorce problems. If you were a baron, you could change the laws of this barony. You could make her life, not just her, but every woman out there trying to get divorced from an awful husband. The law's better for the, all what, of them. What does Malchus get from me doing this? What Chaos. motivates you to get me to do these things? Change. I just want to see what happens. See if you can do it. Hmm. I mean, if you want to go the Astaire route, you go, ah, oh, status quo. Who cares if it's just, just, it's not right. It's the process. Just like, trust the process. She needs proof. Just let it happen. She's clearly can't get proof, so it doesn't matter. That's it the matter. That's it the, matters. exactly. That's why Astaire's wrong. Hmm. Hmm. You are right. a convincing man Wyatt yeah I just get after we deal with this give you give me your uh, brother's uh, address we'll, we'll talk <laughs> <laughs> I never liked my brother but what's his I name I never dis what's his name Tiberius <laughs> your brother's name we'll we'll discuss this after I've had some time to think all right, okay. I never let's, wanted let's... power, and now you got these ideas rolling in my head. This I'm just is... saying, okay. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, you, 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 you talk a big game, but do you have what it takes to actually put yourself in power and play the game? Otherwise, you're just like all the other one, everyone else here, being lucky loose, complaining about the system that you could actually do something about. Well, it's easier to complain about it than to do something. Exactly. But you're saying you're a good guy. Do something to prove it. I am. I'm helping Rose. Any venture in here could help Rose. As a noble, you are in a power position to actually change the system. So the problem that happened to Rose wouldn't happen in the first place. It's an unjust law. How do you change the law? Be a person in power or a person laws. in power? The no. Baroness can change this law today if she wanted to. I don't know the Baroness. Wait. How do you not know the Baroness? She holds balls all the time for you nobles. You just not go to those? No, of course not. My brother goes. Ooh, okay, we're gonna change that. <laughs> uh, okay, let's tell let's okay, let's get a time feather. Um we uh mm, find Cleo, feather. find Spud, we just put him in the time feather room and go, oh yeah, and did you just go to the trial and just say, Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. That wouldn't be honest. Oh, okay. Let's be honest murderers. <laughs> that's the no only way to that... murder <laughs> that's the only way to murder Wyatt listen murder is murder is murder but murder when it's done honestly is virtuous 
Well, yeah, but okay. Let me point out something. You're not gonna if you kill your brother, theoretically. Theoretically. Don't admit it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't live, okay, one time, this is another story, okay, one time when I was very young, I hated, I hated my brother when I was very young, what was his I name? stole, I stole his sword, his, his wooden sword that he had crafted himself, he was so proud of it, and I stole it, and I felt good, I felt really good when I took it, and I hid it away. And he couldn't find it. He was, he was in fear. He was so angry. And it made me feel so good that I finally was making this asshole mad. And then I felt guilt. Why did I feel so good that I was making my brother mad? Karma. It's not good to feel good about doing bad things. You should feel bad when you do a bad thing. But sometimes you have to do bad things. Let me explain to you the wonderful emotion of Shard of Freuden. It's where <laughs> you enjoy the suffering for others. Like, because there are, are people out there who do not deserve joy. There are people out there who are complacent fat cats who do not w deserve joy and happiness. They deserve pain. They got these taxing nobles who do not work for a living, who do not help those who are under them. Like, a noble's role is to help by leading the people. Like, yeah, nobility exists, so you have to accept nobility exists. Exactly. But do all nobles deserve joy? Do all nobles serve the people who are under them? Or do nobles just force their will on people and... Uh, I mean, it's, it's sticky, right? I mean, I know a lot of nobles that are decent people and they oh, care yeah. about their subjects and then choose, there's their choose your targets <laughs> choose your targets man here it is this if you want to make that of... change make those people rise to the top take out the ones you don't like hmm. the ones this you judge lot, wrong this is a lot of i don't even know the words for it to, to carry on to to put all of this responsibility on myself well share the burden find allies Will Fine. you be my ally, Wyatt? You I'm seem to no know noble. a lot. I can help you, but I can't be a true ally. You need to get other like-minded nobles and rise up. We should make you a noble, Wyatt. Well, um, you could do we that, but I'm a foreigner. I'm, a, I'm an Eridonian. I don't think I should be a noble in this nation. Just say that you're a Drakissian. My accent gives it away. Just say you're Drakissian and you lived in our... Okay, well, let's Air uh... <laughs> Okay. Um anyway, let's find uh spot. <laughs> Well, on this note, why don't we take our first break of the session? We'll come back with a little more shenanigans on the other side. See you guys soon. <laughs>